So we have a great group of teachers that are responsible every year for prom. And for, so for this year, they've really taken the approach of trying to get a number of groups involved, uh, which I really like because we have so many talented students. We have so many talented groups. Uh, for instance, our art club every year will paint something as a backdrop for the prom or our construction class will have, um, they'll put something together so that uh, it's something that we don't have to buy. Uh, you know, we have uh, lots of different groups and organizations that all just kind of come together to put the prom together and make it a memorable one for our students. So this year's prom is focusing on Vincent Van Gogh's painting, Starry Starry Night. And so just in case you're not familiar with it, it's this painting here, the one that we associate with Van Gogh so often. And so the idea with prom this year is that students are going to walk in to a living version of the painting. Something else that we're really excited about this year with prom uh, would be the integration of all the different programs of study. And so one of the really cool things that I'm excited about um, is that STEM, welding, and construction are all working together on a big project for prom. Um, they're actually going to be constructing this giant cypress bush that's in the Vincent Van Gogh painting, The Starry Night. Um, so what's going to happen is some students from Miss Eller's class are going to be um, designing this using SolidWorks. Uh, Mr. Price's welding class will be cutting out the pieces um, like a puzzle so that it can be carried into the multi-purpose room and it'll actually be a floor to ceiling structure. Uh, the way that they're going to get it together will involve Mr. Sims construction uh, class and they're going to be putting some scaffolding up in the multi-purpose room um, and then constructing these pieces together. So we're really excited to see the finished product on that. I've been other places to where they just kind of throw money at it and make it this big huge organization and while that's all well and good uh, I like the fact that our school comes together to make this a night that they'll remember forever. Hey, I'm Seth McCormick and I'm in STEM 3 and basically what we're doing is we're creating uh, the Cypress Tree for prom and we're going to design it and then the other classes are going to bolt it in and it's going to look really cool. My name's John, I'm in construction and right now we're working on setting up the scaffold in the multi-purpose room for prom. <laughs> this year we have a great group of teachers um, that are helping with prom and the foreign language department uh, plus Miss Dyer will be working on some of the cool things that are going to go on the backboard um, and then we're also excited about what art is doing uh, to the ceiling as usual it's going to be a little bit different than our typical chandelier prom um, so be watching out for that okay so this is actually going to be a floor to ceiling structure that's constructed by STEM welding and construction. And so it's in the STEM phase right now of them using SolidWorks to construct that. And so in order to make these buildings that we're working on today proportionate, they need to be these eight foot uh, kind of longer pieces. We're just really excited to see the work that our students do and we're excited that we have such an, or, an original prom compared to some of the surrounding counties that maybe buy a lot of their decorations and ours are really um, showcasing our students' talents. Uh, and it's special because you have some ownership in it. Our students did it. Our school did it. We decorated our school to make it spectacular. Uh, and so I love that. I love that our school, I love that our students are so creative. I love that they really want to make this night special and to do it the right way.